my channel, Brian the Farian, coming to you from the Shade Den. Today is Sunday, uh, April 25th. Very nice day outside, nice and sunny. Super nice today. Definitely warm in, in Florida. And we're gonna be doing a simple shade today with a straight razor. So I decided to pick this, pick up my Frederick Reynolds uh, 11 16 up, which I haven't used in a while, and do a straight razor shave. This is a vintage razor. It's a, I believe it's 11 16 uh, Got the original scales on there. Just a nice looking razor. It has a little barber notch on it. Just an old, old time razor. And it still has the, the, the lettering on there. So it's been a little bit restored, but this is an old, old razor. I believe it was made from 1840 to 1890. So definitely an old, old razor. That's the only research I know about it from, from, you know, from reading online. But definitely it's been around for a while. But nice and honed, ready for a shave. So we're gonna be doing a simple shave. And I'm gonna be using that soap I haven't used in a while. It's actually a soap, a soap that's sold on West Coast Shaving. Uh, through the West, through the South Florida White Shavers uh, section in their in their website, and this is called Summer Solstice, and this was a soap made by Katie's Bubbles back in 2019 when when they had the summer meetup in June. I think it was June 29th of that year. They met up and we had a summer meetup for you know for the South Florida White Shavers, and this is one of the soaps that they had there, and great great scent. I haven't used it in a while. It's definitely ready time for use. And what better time to do it now since it's feeling warm outside. It kind of feels like the spring is coming into the summer. It's, it's, it feels like summer here in Florida. It's about 85 degrees right now. So, But definitely a nice scent. It's citrus, uh, floral, woody notes. Nice scent. Reminds me of summer. Great scent for uh, shaving this time of year. Nice, nice scent. And I'm going to be using that soap. I'm going to be using my... my AP Shave Co's Summer Handle Brush. So this is my, this is one of my favorite brushes to use. I can't, I can't not pick this up. Even though I have a lot of brushes in my, in my shave den, this is one of my favorite ones to use. I love the handle, I love the Sinbad knot. This is a 26 millimeter Sinbad synthetic knot. This knot is superb, amazing. I love this knot. Very soft, a uh, decent amount of backbone for a synthetic, synthetic brush and I just really enjoy using this knot. So, hey guys, I've got about almost two days worth of growth on my face, so I'm kind of kind of curious to see how well this razor does. It's got a nice hone on it from from the owner when I bought it from. I bought it from eBay actually, an eBay seller. So, and he honed it really nice. He actually had instructions on what he did, uh, how how he set the bevel and how he finished it up. So, very very detailed instructions on how he honed it, but definitely cool. Uh, nice, nice job on the hone job. So let's see how it does with this two days worth of growth. But anyway, guys, let me go wash my face, get my pre-shave on, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got my pre-shave on. Got my 2.0 cube menthol on my face for my pre-shave. This stuff is really, really slick. I love this stuff for doing straight razor shaves because it does a great. I, I feel it does a great job improving the shave. A lot of people don't, but to me, this stuff works great. And also. Just the menthol cools your face off, especially during these hot summer months in Florida. All right, guys, so I got the soap, the summer solstice, my kitty's bubbles, and South of the Wet Shavers. I got scooped, I scooped it out with my guitar pick from South of the Wet Shavers. So definitely representing South of the Wet Shavers. I got my shirt on today, as you can see. Got this scooped out into my Doug Smith bowl with my AP Shape Co. brush. So let me go ahead and put that on the face. Do a nice face lather here. Hope you guys are doing well this week. It is really nice this time of year. For some reason, the humidity is not quite high like it is in Florida usually during the summer. Even though it's warm, it's still, the humidity hasn't reached the uh, rainforest level yet, so you're not getting that hot stickiness. Quite yet, even though some days it feels like it is after it rains, but today it feels nice. And look at that nice lather from Kitty's Bubbles. Great soap. Chris Collin makes a great soap. I love the some of the scents on his soap. Some of the scents are unique. And this is definitely a unique scent. 
nice and floral. Definitely smell the uh, fruit nuts in this soap. And it does feel nice with the menthol from the cube with it behind it, so man. All right, let me just go ahead and rub that in the face a little bit more. So a lot of things happening in Florida. The, the Florida State Fair is going on right now in Tampa, which was supposed to go on in March normally, but they pushed it back to this time of year. So it's kind of weird to see a fair going on right now with rides and midways. But hopefully I'll get a chance to go to that fair soon and check it out. Maybe even do a video about it if I get that way. Did a video yesterday about, I posted a video yesterday from my travels to Sunken Gardens in St. Petersburg. Haven't been there in a while, so I decided, I went, decided to go down there and do a, actually I went there a long time ago when I was a kid, but I haven't seen it as an adult. I wanna go check, check it out. And definitely a lot of things have, have happened since then. But I have it in that video, so definitely check it out on my channel. It's a, it's a video before this one, so. If you like that sort of thing. I love to travel and explore things all over Florida. That's, re that's really the one of the main reasons why I create this channel is to do that. And also involve my love of weight shaving too. Right, guys, that's a nice ladder. Look at that thick ladder, really nice. All right, so Frederick Reynolds, 11 16th razor here, vintage. Hopefully there'll be no blood today, we'll see. Haven't done, a, haven't done a straight razor shave in about a week, so see how this does. Yeah, a little more challenging with more hair in your face. But it seems to be taking it off pretty easily, so at least the home job's doing well. All right, let's go down here. They say the best way to, to learn to shave is doing about 30 or 40 shaves in a row, which for a time I was trying to do that, but sometimes when it's real busy and you have to use a safety razor, it kind of disrupts that. But anyway, I try to do as many shaves as I can with this if I, you know, if I have a chance to do a straight razor shave. First, first side of my face here. Let me go ahead and do it a little bit more underneath my gills. All right, not too bad. Let me go ahead and switch my hands to my non-dominant hand. <laughs> I'm, I'm more of a righty, so this will be different with this side, like it always is.
got a little bit of cut here, so I'm trying not to reopen it, but So I'm not really know what the purpose of the barber notch is. I see I've seen it on a different bunch of different triggers, but if you guys know, leave a comment below because I'm not really sure what that purpose of it is. I mean, I know it looks badass when it's on the razor, so. Nice auditor, auditory feedback there with the two days worth of growth. Yeah, nice. Definitely still sharp. Nice first pass. Might be a two pass shave because it's so well with this, with this hone and the way it took off the, the, the first pass with that two days worth of growth on my face. All right guys, let me rinse my face and I will be right back. All right guys, first pass was, was excellent. I'm gonna try to do another pass uh, against the grain and maybe do some touch up passes across the grain. Let me do that second face out of here. Oh man, this stuff smells nice. So I forgot the scent notes on this, so I had to go back to the website on South, on South Florida West Shavers, the West Coast Shaving, they describe the soap. And the description of the soap is, sweet citrus notes of bergamot, watermelon, blend into a green heart of basil and geranium on a base of sandalwood, aldehydes, cashmere, and hedoin. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. H-E-D-I-O-N-E. That's a different uh, scent note I, don't, I, really, I really don't hear too much about. But I do get the, definitely get the woodiness at the end, but man, it does have the floral and the watermelon, summer vibe to it. A little bit green, so it is a little bit of a green scent, but it's not too overpowering, it's just about right. It's just like a clean, it's sort of like a clean green scent, if that makes any sense. Kind of blends into like a nice light woody scent at the end. That's the thing about Chris Collins and Katie Bubbles. Their scents are very unique. They kind of like sort of change after a few minutes into something different. Kind of like a cologne does on your skin. Wow, look at that nice lather. This stuff lathers excellent. I believe this is the French uh, soap base that he makes. But let's go ahead and do that uh, against the grain with the Frederick Reynolds again. All right, hopefully I don't cut myself. This is, a, this is the part where I do cut myself sometimes if I'm not paying attention. Yeah, soap's plain slick enough. Probably without the pre shave, but the pre shave doesn't doesn't definitely does improve the uh, slickness. Yeah, pretty nice. Let me get underneath the uh, chin here and the gills. I 
I've seen guys hold this right like this and do the <laughs> underneath the chin. So let me let's try it. Oh, huh, not bad. Definitely a little bit more control that way. All right, so this, I'm probably not gonna go against the grain on this. Actually, let me try it. Well, I'll probably go in. That's where I catch myself a lot of times when I'm going on, you know, against the grain underneath my nose. And I do have a little, little bit, of, a little bit of bleeder right there. So, all right. Switch my hands here. Actually, I'll keep going this side. Wow, didn't really feel it, but I did nick myself right here. All right, guys. Let me put a little bit more moisture on there. Not quite slick as I want it, because I think it's soap dried a little bit, so. Yeah, that's better. So the most important thing about straight razors is you have to have a nice slick soap, and if you don't, the razor will stop and then that's where you get the cut. All right, not bad. I had to stop for a second and put some, uh, a little bit of a uh, alum on that little cut there because it was really kind of gushing out. It wasn't much of a cut, but man, must be all that fish oil I'm taking for uh, supplements. Anyway, guys, let me rinse my face and I'll be right back. So as you can tell that those first two passes did a great job of taking off this hair without no problem. Definitely a nice straight, Sharp straight razor. Let me do a few more passes with the across the brain here. But yeah, not too bad. So I'm by no means an expert straight razor shaver, so definitely don't watch me to, if you want to watch a good straight razor shaver, definitely watch Anthony Esposito. I would even recommend watching John, John Romanoff, who's on self Way Shavers, he's got his own YouTube channel, and I am CDB. He's actually gotten better at straight razor shaving. I think he did about 70, I'm gonna say 70 to 80 shaves in a row with a straight razor. So he did something like that. So he definitely got really proficient at it and quite good at it, so. But lots of good traders or shavers out there. If you're looking for some hints and pointers, definitely look at, check out those other channels.
So I'm gonna go across this way because I always, my chin line always grows this way, so. Hence the feedback. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, definitely hear the feedback going that way with the hair growth. Yeah, very nice. All right, time to go this way here. Yeah, I don't hear much feedback because I took off the hair with those first two passes, so. Anytime you have a good, a good straight razor that's honed properly, you do fewer passes with your straight razor shaves, for sure. Oh, nice, excellent, excellent shave. All right, let me try this hand on this side here. Oh no, pretty decent shave. Yeah, soap's drying, so it's tugging a little bit, so. I think that's it, pretty good, pretty good shapes, guys. I, th I think that's, that's pretty much it for the straighter shape. Let me rinse my face, guys, and I'll be back for the post shave. Yeah, that was a good shave. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Nice shave. Took off the two days, two days worth of growth without any problems. Definitely, if, you're, if, you have, if you have a properly honed straight razor, they will do a great job of taking off hair and also cutting yourself if you're not careful like I did underneath my nose. I, got, I think I got the finally stopped bleeding. It wasn't much of a cut, but man, really gushed for a second. So if you guys, I, know, I warned you guys about blood, so definitely hide your kids and hide your wives because that was a little bit gushy there, but got it to stop. But man, no other nicks anywhere else. And... Definitely a nice shave. So definitely love the scent on the soap. Very summer, like a great spring summer scent. Highly recommend this soap. If you're looking for a nice summer scent, this is a great soap to, to try out. It's on West Coast Shavers, West Coast Shaving, their website. Uh, I think you type in South Florida Wet Shavers or SFWS and their stuff comes up and you find this on there. I believe this is like $19.99 at the time I'm saying this. And I, Assume I'm thinking it's in stock. But anyway, guys, post shave. I'm gonna be using the the same post shave, the summer solstice from Kitty's Bubbles. Pretty cool looking labeling. Bottle's nice. Pretty good size bottle for aftershave. It's gotta be at least man, maybe 3.4 ounces probably. Yeah, good size. There's no um, automizer on there, so you have to be really careful with this. So hold your finger there and try to get a little bit out. Ooh, yeah, be careful. At least my bottles don't have one, but I don't know if the bottles on on West Coast Shaving have the, the uh, I'm sorry, not on my, restrictor. That's what I want to say, restrictor on there. But man, nice, nice refreshing. A little bit of alcohol in it, but not too steamy. Feels nice, nice scent. Definitely strong. It's probably about, I'd say the aftershave scent is probably about a 10. Pretty, pretty strong. It's almost like a cologne. I remember I wore this one day. I did a shave in the morning before I went to work. 
and I can smell it at five o'clock in the afternoon when I got off work. That's how strong this stuff is. So their aftershaves are almost like colognes. And soap strength, I would say this is probably about probably about a seven or eight. It's on the higher end of soap of uh, scent strength. Definitely nice scent though. My whole bathroom smells like summer solstice right now, which is nice. So definitely, if you're looking for a nice summer scent, definitely check it out. Summer Solstice by Kitty's Bubbles, uh, South Florida Weight Shavers. So the razor I used again was the Frederick Reynolds 11 uh, uh vintage straight razor. Nice original scales. Definitely a nice, nice looking razor. Definitely heavy. It's probably heavier than my other straight razors I have because it's definitely has a heavy uh, spine and blade, but man, this thing shaves really, really nice. Very, very nice shaver. And hard to believe I got a great shave from it, from a shaving tool from almost 100 years ago. Crazy. But anyway, guys, if you guys are, are thinking about straight razor shaving but having, are kind of too scared or reluctant to get into it like I was, definitely try it out. It's, it's not as scary as you think it would. It's not as scary as it seems. Just gotta get into it. Uh, just get you like a nice uh, beginner straight razor, like maybe like a gold dollar from Anthony Esposito or or somebody that does a good job on honing. It can be it can be a gold dollar. It could be. I would probably start with something uh, reasonably priced and then try it. You might like it. It's a little bit of a learning curve. Definitely have to take your time more so than than safety razor shaving. But man, once you get using one of these. You feel like a badass using a straight razor. It's awesome. It's awesome to get a nice close shave. But definitely, definitely a neat, unique experience using one of these. And I highly recommend you guys trying it. At least try to get into it. Maybe, maybe if you don't want to hone, that's you know at least maybe send out your razors to get home by someone. But you know once you get a decent hone job, you can strop these and you can la they can you can at least get like at least man I would say months of shaving from just one hone job if you strop it properly. Definitely get a nice drop when you do this too also. All right guys, that and I use my my Sinbad knot in this AP Shave Co handle. This is the summer handle, or they call it the Green Hawk. That's what they call it from uh, Christopher Bailey. That's what he called it from IMCDB. But still, one of my favorite brushes. This, is about a year, this brush is a year old, but I still love this brush. I love the knot, great, great knot. I might, I might actually get this knot for one of my vintage razor, um, vintage brush handles that I got recently and put it in, in the, in the uh, brush because I love it so much. Definitely a nice knot. All right, guys, that's my weekend shave. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching me uh, cut myself. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy your shaves. Hope you have a good week, and I will see you guys later. Take care.